Hey guys, this is Hydra back with another video for this week. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do another market analysis or weekly market overview video. And uh, yeah, to start off, we'll take a look at the indices as usual. Start off with the uh, SPY. Take a look at the weekly chart. So really strong week for the market in general this week, right? Um, so SPY was consolidating here made a bull flag and then put in another consolidation bar and then this week we broke out as well so extremely extremely bullish action right and we're consolidating breaking out consolidating breaking out it's a really good action overall and the next target for the spy is 453 and that's where we should see some major resistance level but also 450 is also a psychological level so we could see some resistance there as well so around 450 to 453 is where we should expect uh, a lot of resistance right and uh yeah really really strong rally the last couple of weeks right all we're not even getting that much consolidation or all we're getting is one week of consolidation and then we're just we're, we're just making new 52 week highs so really really strong action overall um uh, taking a look at the daily chart definitely getting a little extended here and the pullback to 444 would be um, expected. And uh, yeah, potentially uh, this gap could fail as well. So just be cautious out there. The market is definitely very bullish, but don't get, uh, don't be buying extended and make sure that you have good risk reward entries. And uh, yeah, but overall, a really good action on the FUI. We'll take a look at QQQ now. So QQQ is even stronger. Um, QQQ actually broke that uh, 370 resistance level. It's been consolidating for four weeks. And then this week we got a really big uh, breakout bar. Yeah, really, really nice action, right? Next uh, resistance level would be around, uh, so 382 is the next resistance level. And we actually hit that this week, but we rejected off it. So that's uh, an important level to note for sure. And uh, I think, uh, we're definitely very extended here and some consolidation would be a good thing so if we can consolidate back to 370 i think that would be perfectly normal action um but yeah i think there's a good chance that we could uh, pull back and then come back to this trend line i think that's very possible um but yeah again qqq is extended here so don't be buying anything extended and make sure that you have good risk reward entry points but overall, really good action on the, both of the indices, QQQ and SPY. QQQ is obviously stronger, so you want to be paying more attention to those type of names, tech names. But yeah, overall, really good action on both indices, and overall, the market's doing really, really well. And um, yeah, you definitely want to have long exposure, and you shouldn't be looking to short here. You should be looking to buy on pullbacks instead. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. And now we'll take a look at um, some individual big cap tech stocks, starting with uh, Apple. So Apple was forming this bull flag last week, um, and it's still forming the bull flag, but it's actually tightening up really, really nicely here. So really small bull flag forming right here, right? Two inside days, and uh, we're tightening up here, and it's on the support trend line. So think Apple is ready to see another leg up so I'm expecting uh, or, or if Apple can break 191 192 ish then I think we could see it move back to 190 or back to all-time highs and then 195 and then 200 so really good action in Apple um, and that's just consolidating nicely uh, this week right on the weekly chart yeah just building a bull flag here a really strong breakout consolidation bar and another consolidation bar so really good action, um, nothing to be worried about. If we lose this trend line, then we could see a bigger pullback and a pullback to 182 potentially. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Apple, really good action. Next up, AMD. So AMD is still stuck between this range. Um, so the range is 117 to 107, right? Um, AMD has to break in either direction for a clear move. Uh, up or down so if we break 117 so we tried to we tried to do that last week but we weren't able to close above it which is uh not good but not bad either right uh, there's still potential that we can just uh, get back above it next week and then uh, uh yeah we'll see what happens but 
that 117 level is definitely a key resistance level. And uh, I'm going to see if that can get taken out next week. But MD is still acting fine, right? Um, I'm actually making a new trend here. So more consolidation, tighten up more, and then we can break out potentially. But yeah, overall, uh, it's good action on AMD. And uh, nothing to be worried about, but it could just potentially need, need more consolidation. So uh, just be patient on AMD for now. Next up, Amazon. So Amazon finally got that big breakout to uh, that 130, oops, 137 level. So it's tightening up here, tightening up here, and then it put a shakeout bar and then uh, reversed and then broke out. Really, really strong action. 137 is a major resistance level. So now you should expect a lot of consolidation. Just go sideways for a couple weeks and then potentially uh, form a flag and then break out again, right? But overall, really good action for Amazon. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Google. So Google had a really, really strong week. Uh, it was forming a really nice bull flag, right? Made a really big move, and then it was consolidating, pulling back slowly, and this week it broke out out of the bull flag. So let's take a look at the daily chart. Yeah, really good action, right? So 127 is the major resistance level, so we want to see if that can take and get, if that can get taken out. And if that can get taken out, then uh, we have a lot of uh, upside potential, right? Uh, next next uh so there's some resistance at the 130 level and then after that we have uh, we have room all the way up to 136 so if the 127 level gets taken out you would want to be looking to buy google here and then first target would be 130 and then 136 but yeah really good action on google as well next up meta so Meta has been absolutely killing it. This one just keeps going higher and higher. Um, there really not much to say. This one's been holding the trend the entire time. Broke key resistance level 305, and it held above it for the weekly close, which is really good action. Um, now it's definitely getting extended here, and you want to see it consolidate for a little bit because this move is just crazy, right? So you definitely want to see some consolidation for a little while go sideways for a little bit and then make a move uh, up higher again but the next resistance level is 350 so still a lot of room for meta here but yeah overall really really good action next up microsoft so microsoft was forming a flag and then this week it broke out of the flag but it wasn't able to close strong but still really good action so that 345 level is a key resistance level and uh we were able to close above it, but yeah, we'll see how it goes in the coming weeks, right? So on the weekly chart, really clean cup pattern, right? And flagging for a couple weeks and then breaking out. But we got to that 351.5 level and then we closed above. We got rejected, but the market was extended that day, so it made sense that it pulled back in. But we want to see what will happen here, right? So more consolidation would also be a good thing. Um, and as long as we hold that support trend line, uh, Microsoft is in good shape, right? But yeah, overall, Microsoft is either uh, either needs more rest, or we could see it continue to just rally higher and higher. But overall, really good action for Microsoft as well. Next up, uh, Netflix. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So Netflix has. Uh, let me remove this line. So Netflix had resistance at the 448 level, and it tried to break out on Friday and Thursday, but it ended up closing below. So still stuck in consolidation, and Netflix might just need some more time here. But overall, it's acting really well, right? And it's starting to tighten up more and more here. So a few more days of consolidation, and then we could see that 448 breakout, and then a move up to that 473 level, 474 level. But overall, really good action. On Netflix as well um, but yeah and then next up NVIDIA so NVIDIA had a really nice setup on uh, what is this on Wednesday yeah so it's flagging and it made a really nice tight setup here right really good risk reward and on uh, Wednesday it was a really clear buy setup when it took that 431 level out uh, this was what I was saying last week as well right 
really this is a key resistance level it got there once twice rejected and then on the third time it finally took out and then or it finally took it out and made a really big move up but nvidia is definitely extended here and we can see some consolidation so be prepared for that um and then last tesla so tesla finally broke that bull flag uh this week and uh, the key resistance level is 284 so we'll see what happens how it handles that but some more consolidation would be a good thing here as well but overall tesla is acting really really well um yeah not much to say on the weekly chart it's just that 284 level is clear resistance level and if we can take that out then next the uh, target would be 310 but overall really good action on tesla um yeah, that's pretty much it for the big cap tech stocks. Now we'll take a look at ARKK, see how growth is doing. Really big breakout from growth stocks this week, right? We were forming a flag here, four weeks of consolidation. And then last week we had a really, really big breakout and really good action. Um, next target would be 52 because that's where we got rejected last time. So we have a lot of upside potential here still. Um, but yeah, it's definitely getting extended here. So uh, some more sideways some more consolidation or sideways action would be a good thing and then potentially we could see that run up to 52 overall really good action on growth uh this week and uh, some specific stocks that have been doing really well is coin insanely strong breakout on uh, thursday and then on friday put in a consolidation bar so i want to see if you can form some sort of flag consolidate for a little bit and then that'll be a good uh, setup to look out for but overall really really good action Really strong weekly breakout, really nice volume. Um, but yeah, coin is one of the strongest ones right now. And then AEHR, this one had a really strong gap up on Friday. Really nice volume. So this one's back on my radar. Um, I want to see it go or consolidate for a little bit and then see if it can form some sort of flag. But this one has my attention. Really strong volume, really strong gap up. It's a 52 week highs, or yeah, new all time highs. So, this one has a lot of room to just keep uh, going higher and higher. So, definitely paying attention to this one. Really strong stock, really strong stock, like for the last couple couple of years, too. Actually, yeah, starting from made a really strong run in 21, or sorry, 22, then consolidated, or pulled back in, and then. It started getting heating, or it started to heat up again at the end of 2022, and then 2023 has just been taking off ever since. So, really strong stock that you wouldn't be paying attention to. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Carvana. So Carvana had a really strong breakout um, last uh, week. Yeah, last, yeah, insanely strong breakout, and now it's consolidating here very, very nicely. So, we'll see if some, for, some sort of flag can form. A flag is currently forming, so we want to see a couple more days of consolidation, a nice, tight, good risk reward entry, and uh, this could potentially be an A plus setup. But yeah, definitely keeping my eye on this one. And then, uh, last but not least, we'll take a look at um, Upstart. So this one had a really nice breakout on uh, Monday, so really nice flag forming here, and then had so it was a very clear play here, right? 38.7 was a clear resistance area. And on Friday or on Monday, took that out. And then ever since then, it's just been um, chugging along higher, right? So this one is getting a little bit extended now. So you want to see some rest, some sort of flag form. And then this is one that you definitely want to be looking to buy. But overall, really good action in the market for the last, uh, for <clears throat> really good action for growth stocks in, uh, specifically for the last week. Tech in general has been really do has been doing really good, and even the general market SPY has been doing really good. So everything's very bullish, but things are getting extended now. So you want to be patient, wait for good entries, buy on pullbacks. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.